For most of the people in the galaxy, the actual differences between the Empire and the Republic would not have been obvious immediately when it came to their daily lives. Especially for many in or near the Galactic Core in particular, the backslide of rights under the late Republic into the early Empire would have been less obvious than for those located in other, particularly less affluent areas of the galaxy. While some had been aware of the dangerous path of the Republic even before the declaration of the Empire, and that declaration did alert others still, for many it would take a series of increasingly blatant atrocities for the evils of the Empire to sink in. One of the earliest to really press this point home was known as the Gorman Massacre. This is a name you may be familiar with even from New Canon, with mentions of the massacre itself coming up in Rebels and a name drop of the planet Gorman in Andor, but we'll get to the legends and canon differences towards the end of the video. There will be slight Andor discussion in that, but nothing that really covers any plot elements, so no real spoilers, just an offhand mention. Citizens on the planet Gorman were arranging a sit-in to protest new taxes enacted by the Empire, and a massive crowd of protesters occupied the landing pad which was supposed to be used by the Imperial ships coming to collect those taxes. Why exactly the taxes had to be physically collected instead of being able to spacey transfer them or something, I'm not particularly sure. But either way, when the ship arrived at the planet, rather than being deterred by the massive crowd of otherwise peaceful protesters, its captain, Will of Tarkin, instead decided to land on the pad anyways. The result was dozens being killed and hundreds being injured. Well, in terms of pure body count, the Gorman Massacre wasn't as extensive as other actions by the Empire. It became a watershed moment in how the Empire was perceived. One important point is that while the planet Gorman was not a major planet in and of itself, it was a largely human planet and it was very close to the core along the Rima trade route. So many who thought their interests couldn't possibly be threatened saw the dangers of the Empire a lot closer to home and in a way that they couldn't really deny. It made it clear how different the Empire would be in dealing with dissent compared to even the later stages of the Republic. Rather than Tarkin facing prosecution for his actions, he was promoted. The Rebel Alliance source book by West End Games, where most of this comes from, says that Tarkin was simply the captain of the ship and then promoted from there. But later sources, of course, have given him more prominence earlier on. So there's definitely a bit of fudging with both his rank and the events around that canonically. But at the very least, Palpatine didn't condemn what he did. And you can still read that as being part of Tarkin drawing increasing power and prominence to himself, even if it's not a promotion specifically from the rank of captain to some other rank. There had already been some political organization opposing the Empire, but the Gorman Massacre did more than any prior event to begin to make dissident groups begin forming and working together, and crucially they made some of those who opposed the Empire in less overt ways realize that more drastic measures were needed to return to the Republic. Bail Organa, who became one of the founders of the Rebel Alliance, was initially entirely opposed to military action. According to one of the other founders of the Rebel Alliance, Mon Mothma, in the Rebel Alliance sourcebook, Quote, at first, Bale would not hear of it. He was aghast at the very idea of attempting to overthrow the government that he had given his whole life to. For a moment after I broached the subject, I thought he was going to have me arrested. It wasn't until the Gorman massacre that he turned around. After Gorman, Bale realized that the Republic was dead. He began to use all of his influence and political skill to aid us, while still pretending to be against me in the floor of the Senate. End quote. Tarkin's actions in the Gorman Massacre basically eroded one of the forms of support that Palpatine had. Even if people like Bail Organa were not particularly supportive of Palpatine per se, the fact that he and people like him would have been able to argue against or shut down some support for people like Mon Mothma, who were more overt in their criticism, would have been very useful as a political tool, and in those situations, Bale's form of opposition wouldn't have been that different from people who actually supported Palpatine. But after Gorman, Bale's reaction was definitely not unique, and the massacre became a galaxy-wide symbol of the need to directly oppose the Empire. New Canon seems to be setting up a similar event as well. It's mentioned by Mon Mothma in her speech against the Emperor in the Rebels episode Secret Cargo, and from Andor we know that in 5 BBY we're getting some of the build-up for that kind of event, with Mon Mothma's mention that trade lanes into Gorman have been cut off. We may even see the event itself in Season 2 or something. That would be my personal hope or theory, but that's not a concrete guess. The big difference there from Legends, of course, is that the new canon version seems to be a much later event, so it's unclear if it's going to play the same watershed role in new canon as in Legends. 
We also don't know if the event itself will be the same, whether it's still Tarkin or someone like Tarkin landing their ship on protesters, or if it'll be something else entirely. Either way, that's going to do it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, consider leaving a like or subscribing for more. And if there's anything else you'd like to see covered on the channel, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.